Evening everyone, Brendan from Starpoint Australis. Thank you for joining me this fantastic Tuesday, the week that was, update that we have. So we'll start first on the SP3. We've been working uh, pretty diligently over the last couple of weeks, two, three weeks, on making sure that the radius base plates are working well. Um, obviously we've got this one here already attached to Dan's um, setup. But uh, this weekend just passed, I'll just get this right. This weekend that's just passed, I was working on updating the new uh, for the eight inch. And you can see the radius change there. Oh, if I get it right, it's kind of hard to hold this. Let's hold it again. So hold it up there like that. So you can see the, the two radiuses. So the back one here, the one that's got the, the focus housing, that's the eight inch version and the front one is the 10 inch version so obviously being the different sizes the tube radius itself is different so we've got the eight inch f4 for the gso and the skywatcher so the skywatcher quattro and then we have the um f4.7 that dan's got here and the f4 quattro 10 inch is slightly different again. So I will be working on the 18, oh sorry, the 10 inch Quattro versions this weekend uh, to get them done. I've got a few that I need to make. Additionally to that, um, on the top here, um, we've updated, or updated, I've designed and manufactured. So just some end caps, a very benign piece, but I think it's very important. Uh, and something well overlooked by a lot of people um, when they have these. So what I found back when, well back, what I find, I should say with the 12 inch, you can't see, it's just out of frame, is that I travel a lot with my equipment. And uh, one of the big things is, is that when you pull all of your image train off, there's just a gaping hole where you, all your mirrors and whatnot. So dust and debris and, you know, it can even get to the point where <clears throat> something falls in there. That's the last thing you want is something loose. Hopefully it's soft if it does get in there, but something loose rattling around because it will cause damage to mirrors. So that was the last real piece that I, in my side, was a requirement for a standard piece of kit. So pretty much ready to go. Got the designs. I know how to build them quickly and easily. So that's coming along well. We should be able to finish them, wow, I reckon within the next week or so. I've got an eight inch getting dropped off to be fitted for one of these. So they're starting to go out. We just need some clear weather here in Perth realistically. Um, what else have we got? We've got the Octans and the Phoenix. So I'll give you the update for that. So I was in conversations with the manufacturer. They're still progressing through. It's another week and a half, two weeks minimum for them to finish out their manufacturing. Once they've finished their manufacturing, I'm going to then have a session. It normally takes me a full day to do this, but basically a session and we will go backwards and forwards and make sure that all the features are in the correct places. Um, the, the poles are all the right lengths and stuff like that. I mean, I've been playing with these for quite a while now, so I can almost see when something's not quite right. But uh, we've gone through a lot of that. Once that's happened, I'll then send in my independent quality assurance to pick up all the other little things that uh, is very hard to do over a video call. So I'm hoping to have those by the 8th of September, which is the first week of September to be finished um, and then starting to get delivered out from there. So once it gets into that system, for all of you who have ordered, I will be confirming your delivery address because it has been a little bit of a delay. I just wanna make sure that I get these to the right places on time. Additionally to that, um, Starpoint Australis, uh, where we're working on getting a second vendor um, or a manufacturer, I should say, a second manufacturer to make our Octans and Phoenix. That way we could, we, there's two issues here. We can end up with more manufacturing uh, quantity, but if something falls over, 
uh, like if a manufacturer um, drops off and disappears, we then have backups straight away. So it's just shoring up our manufacturing of the Octans and the Phoenix. Other pieces, ah, that's another thing. So sorry, back to the SP3. Dan and I have been working quite furiously at the moment. Oh, that's the gizzards of the actual um, focuser itself, but we've been changing and modifying and working on the firmware and the ASCOM. And one of the big things that we decided to do, and this comes back down to making our SP3 a standalone, so we don't need a computer to use it, and you don't need special hand paddles and other fantastics. But we moved from Bluetooth Classic as a protocol to Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE as a protocol. And the reason primarily for that was to do with iOS and making it an iOS and Android compatible um, electronic hand paddle. And so we couldn't use Classic to do that. We've now moved over fully in the ASCOM, oh, sorry, in the firmware side of things. Dan is, it's got, it's working, it's communicating backwards and forwards. We're just fine tuning that to get rid of the bugs. That should probably be done by the end of next week at the latest and should be with Carlos Taylor um, to start, you know, putting it through its paces. Carlos has been using Bluetooth Classic uh, for the past, I think, four months now with no appreciable errors or no bugs that we've had to fix, which has been good. But this will just be that next step forward in stability of the connection. Also noting that Bluetooth Classic was, um, oh, they stopped really supporting Bluetooth Classic and giving it updates, I think nearly 10 years now, which is interesting to note but Bluetooth LE is realistically where the protocol is going. So we're jumping on board with that and making sure that it's done before it goes out for the first time. So that's been a lot of work, a lot of late nights and a lot of learning from our side because to implement Bluetooth Classic versus Bluetooth LE, completely different ball game, um, but it's good. It's good to see. So we've got that uh, pretty much on the way and getting sorted. Um, this weekend, uh, Jess, Dan, I and a few others will be at the June Love Business Awards. Uh, we've got some good information, or good, good news I should say, not good information, good news on that. But uh, we'll leave that up for some updates coming up in the next uh, week or so. All right then guys, till next time, thanks for staying with me for this, uh, for this length of this little update. But uh, we will have more for you as the week goes ahead. All right then, talk to you soon, bye.